Yes, please tell me the worst game that you have ever played. This is my personal pick, my number one, and type it in the comments down below, and I don't mean like a top three or top five. You've gotta pick out one, and this is my one. It's called Supreme Warrior for Sega CD. Now, if anyone has stuck with me for this long since my old channel's been around, they know how much that I just despise this game on a cellular level, okay? And thank you very much for sticking with me for this long. And now this is not me going all AVGN or anything like that. I'm not playing a character. I'm talking to you right now as if you were literally sitting on the other side of this desk from me. That's why you subscribed to me. There's no bull crap here. This is me having a conversation directly with you. Why? Because I have no real friends. That's how pathetic I am. No, <laughs> no but seriously. Another gem brought to us by Digital Pictures. Yes, the people who are responsible for all of the full motion videos that came out on Sega CD, and then later they reported to 32X and then 3DO. God knows for whatever reason, other than just to make the library look bigger than it already was. So what I read and what I found out was that this game actually was suggested to be made by the people, yes. The director or producer or whatever was responsible for making Supreme Warrior asked the people what they wanted and they said they wanted a kung fu type fighting game. This is what he came up with. But I really don't think that this was exactly what they were asking for. <laughs> Back in the day, I felt so ripped off by this game when I got it. I, I don't know how to explain it. It was just, it didn't play it did, you couldn't really play it. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't pick it up and play it. And then years later, uh, when I had my old YouTube channel, I tried to play it again and I still couldn't get it. I, I just couldn't get through it. I couldn't really grasp the concept of it. Now, back in the day, we had no internet. We had no Wikipedia. We had no YouTube tutorial videos or anything. I read the instruction manual thoroughly and it still didn't make any sense how to play this game. Right? I tried to, and I challenge you, okay? I challenge you right now. If anybody out there can actually just pick up and play this game, I will be flabbergasted. It's not like Street Fighter. And remember that Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat and all these great fighting games were around at the same time that this game came out. So anybody can pick up those games and grasp the concept of them right away. You can punch, you can kick, you can jump, you can hit the other player, and the other player can hit you. You don't even need to know any special moves. It's logical. Try and pick this game up and just play it without any, any knowledge of it whatsoever. And you will understand what I mean by pure frustration. All right, so getting into the concept of it, it's a full motion video, of course, because it's made by Digital Pictures. They made all of them. and. It's based in sort of like a kung fu movie type setting. So it's sort of like a first person when you're fighting and I don't know if I could even relate this game to a fighting game, I really shouldn't. But it looks like a guy's wearing a GoPro on his head and he's just getting his ass kicked all the time. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Because every single time, and I read this too, just found out about it, that the camera that they used to film the fighting scenes had pads on it so that the actors could actually hit it. So every single time they're hitting the camera, the camera goes like, it's it's like your the head, like I, like I said, wearing a GoPro on it and you get punched or kicked in the face, the camera goes like this, or it goes down to the ground all the time. It's so bad looking and I have to laugh at it be not because <laughs> not because there's any I get any joy out of this game at all it's so badly made the video part about it that I have to laugh at it right it's sort of like the the movie the room or trolls or something that somebody tried to make a serious thing and it wound up being funny because it's so terrible right every time he gets sick so I, all I ever think about is like this little Asian guy because that's who you play in the game just going into these battles against guys that are way bigger, way stronger, and way tougher than him, and he's just getting his ass kicked all the time. That's what it always looks like, because you can see your hands on the screen, right? And you can punch, and you can kick, and you can block, but it doesn't do anything. You can just keep tapping on the button, and he goes, hoo, 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 and it doesn't do anything. It's strictly a timing-type-based game, a memory-timing game, 
that's basically the concept of it. But uh, th there you go again, though. Even knowing how to play it, I dare you to try. I've tried. I could beat like the first guy and then maybe the second guy or whatever, but it starts not making any sense anymore to me because you try and you're, you're like, when do you hit? When do you push the button? What button do you push? There's too much involvement into um, some kind of a weird pattern. And I really don't think that there really is any actual true pattern that you can do. I mean, it must exist. Like if you like this game, okay, if you know how to play this game, please, please, God bless you. I love you. I beg of you. What is wrong with it? What's wrong? How, how do you play it? I can never, every time I pick it up, and like I said, I know how to play it. I've read the Wikipedias, I've watched the YouTube tutorial videos, I've tried, dear God, I've tried, and I can't. So I just chalk it down to this game is dog shit, that's it, pardon my language, but I mean, it is, I hate it, I hate this game, I hate everything about this game. And it's not even the worst game I've ever played either, it's not, okay? The worst game that I've ever played and I know you're probably thinking right away, E.T., right? But no, I don't jump on that E.T. bandwagon. I played E.T. back in the day and it's actually not a bad game. The point is, is that the worst game I've actually ever played is Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. You don't know the worst game ever until you've played that one. So the story is ludicrous as well. You know, it's something about two masks or something like that. It's just completely random that they just pull out of the top of their head. And then you, what's also funny is when you're always getting your butt whooped because that's the way it looks like. And also I want to talk about the fighters as well, but we'll get into that. It's just when you're getting your butt kicked, there's always this little Asian girl who's with you. And every single time you get knocked out and you come to, she, she picks your head up and, and she goes, she doesn't have any sympathy for you at all. None. She has no compassion because she just goes, get up, get fighting, get back to it. You know what I mean? Like trying to motivate you to keep fighting when really what she should be doing is like throwing in the towel and saying, hey, stop, you're killing this kid. You're killing this little kid. These guys are way bigger, way stronger. And I just feel so sorry for how much damage that this little Asian Kung Fu guy goes through, which is essentially you just getting your butt whooped all the time. Now, the actual fighters that you're fighting aren't even anything special. Like, it's not like Bloodsport. It would have been probably a lot better if it was. If, it, if they look like that, if you actually had the Thai boxer and the sumo wrestler and I don't know, a ninja or something like that, right? But it's not. These, they all, they kind of all look like just African fighting, uh, what is it, capoeira dance fighting guys. They come at you and they go, oh, 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 they do like this dance first and then they wind right up and I'm like, hit him, hit him, hit him, you know, like that's what I'd be doing and then they go, oh, and they just hit you anyway. It's, uh, I hate it. I hate the game. I know you can say, oh, but Ed, you just don't know how to play it or something like that. No, I've tried. I've tried. I know how to play it, people. I don't like it at all. So worst fighting game ever. You can say Shaq Fu. Go ahead. Type it in the comments down below. I challenge anyone to find a fighting game that is worse than this one. Supreme Warrior Digital Pictures Sega CD, the graphics aren't even that good on it. The only saving grace from it is it's like back in the day, it was the only pitch that they had for this thing was, hey, it's not like playing a video game. It's like playing a movie, woo. But it looked, it looked terrible. It's all, it's all pixelated and everything like that. Looks a lot better on the 3DO. Maybe it looks better on the 32X. I don't know, but that's it. Supreme Warrior again. I never really want to talk about it again. I never really want to play it again. That is the worst of the worst. So thanks a lot, guys. And please share down below the worst of the worst that you've ever played. And if you want to see me talk about a decent video game, actually a very good video game, click over here. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you're new to the channel, thanks for joining me and you want to subscribe, click on the bubble over there where you can also see other videos of me drinking gasoline. Oh.